So having 60 plus skill points to spend, it's got to a stage now with Zen, as I found out, that you can spend these points across all three skill trees and still have an incredible build in which you can switch between action skills without worrying about respecking. And today guys, that is the build I bring you. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So as you guys may know, I am a Zayn main, have been since the start, haven't really bothered with other Vault Hunters much. This means I have spent almost my entire playtime on Zayn, messing around with builds and so much more. Now with Gearbox constantly giving us more and more points to spend without really making the game much harder, it's got to a point where we as players can spend into all three skill trees and still have an incredible build when switching up action skills and mixing and matching any two. I have been playing this way for about a week and well it's incredible. What we basically have here is my Lazy Zane build and my Winter Soldier build both built into the same build. This means you can mix and match all three action skills without having to respec and still have a build which just ruins all. So if you want to go with Barrier Sentinel you can, if you want to go with Barrier Cologne you can, if you want to go with Cologne and Sentinel you can, all within the same build without respecing. And to be honest this is what I've kind of always wanted. It means I can make the most out of weapons anointed to Zane, because for the most part depending on the build I was using which was my Winter Soldier build for a long time, when I switched that up to my Lazy Zayn build, both builds used different weapons and different anointments. One worked with Cryo Sentinel damage output, the other one worked with 130% damage after switching places with Digiclone. So I was ignoring said anointments on certain weapons that didn't fit that build. Now I pick up all anointments because all anointments work with this build. And well, it's made me enjoy this game that little bit more. Now using this build and going with Sentinel and Digiclone isn't an actual separate build I've made in the past. I mean yes I've always used all three skill trees with every build, but I've never actually pulled out a build where Clone and Sentinel are actually used at the same time. Well guys, with this build that all changes. So what we have here is an ultimate all round build for Zane. This makes the most out of all of the weapon anointments available for Zane. All within the same build which allows you with the press of a few buttons without respecting you can use and the build is just as ultimate as it was before and i use it as follows stationary boss fights clone and barrier small area ad clearing sentinel and barrier running things like the raid where you are always moving forward between bosses and even sometimes at bosses sentinel barrier ultimate damage output sentinel clone and like i said you can do this by going into your infantry pressing a couple of buttons and coming out of your inventory no respecting required at all now I'm calling this the Captain Zanit build, named after Captain Planet. Some of you youngers out there won't remember this amazing cartoon, but Captain Planet was basically formed when many things were combined. And well that's what I'm calling this. I mean people come up with some crazy crazy names for builds, which I find hilarious and I'm no better. But yeah, this Captain Zanit build, an all in one setup, one build for all three action skills, where you can switch between those action skills and wreck with them all on the go, I mean what else do you need? Now with this build I don't feel I need to undermine your intelligence explaining how these skills work, I mean we are a year into this game being released, I think everybody knows the basics and well, with Zane and this build, they are truly basic. So we'll showcase the build to you on screen now and leave this to copy if you wanna. And on that note we have come to the end of the video, if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out, if you're new around here and want to see more BR3 be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video or upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.